Hey guys, it's Damien here. Last time I tried to 3D print my own blades using FDM, it didn't work out too well. So I had PCBWay send me some resin printed parts and the PCBWay did another phenomenal job packaging these parts because blades are extremely fragile, especially the ones that I've designed. The tolerances on these blades were also extremely tight, especially towards the tail part of the blade extremely thin there but the blades themselves turned out extremely nice they were very smooth and no chipping burrs or any sort of bad manufacturing as far as resin printing these parts now the blades themselves when it comes to weight the original blade is actually around 10 grams the first design is around 14 grams and then the new design is actually a little bit heavier just because I actually ended up thickening up the core of the blade a little bit more and I'm assuming it's about a quarter of a millimeter thicker which doesn't sound like a lot but it is definitely every bit counts in a helicopter of this size. So the blades are a little bit heavier and the airfoils are also changed up quite a bit. I did try to move the whole location of where the blade grip latches onto on the newer design just to see if the blade would fly any differently, but hopefully they could perform much better than my 3D printed PETG parts. The material I actually ended up using for this is also Somos Perform, which is their strongest material that they offer. The only thing that I might be wary of is just because a material is extremely strong does not mean that the material can be brittle. So I'm not too sure how well these blades will perform, but I figured I'd give it a shot. Since I'm not too sure on how these blades will actually perform, I do plan on testing these resin printed blades with my current configuration nylon 3D printed frame from PCBWay as well because of the fact that the resin printed frame that they had sent me recently, the green one that you have seen in my previous video, there was quite a substantial weight change from the nylon to this resin printed frame. So depending on how much these blades can withstand the forces of a 3D flight, I prefer to just test it with the nylon frame first. So that being said, let's take it out to the field and see how it flies. Hey guys, so we're out in here in the field with the resin printed blades from PCBWay. This is a new iteration. I still don't have this on Thinkverse and printables. So if you guys want that, I will definitely post them as well as the landing skids i actually forgot to post those this these landing skids pretty much are able to print from uh one one time right away without needing to use a lighter to bend them so i'll post those as well but i did lower the throttle curve on this uh flight to 60 percent because i don't want to go too aggressive because if you guys have seen my previous video of 3D printing blades, they pretty much exploded and the helicopter just was a complete disaster. So just trying to keep it simple, seeing how well this, these perform to see even if they do perform. And uh, yeah, let's check it out, see how they fly.
Definitely had fun cutting the grass there and uh, the blade survived. I'm pretty sure I could probably actually uh, bump up the throttle throttle curve on the these uh, this flight, but I don't really know if I want to. Uh, they are good blades for simple, smooth 3D flying. Uh, they definitely flew better than the uh, Pet G blades that I've actually printed before, and I can't complain. Um, the blades themselves are. 18 grams a piece where the original blades were I believe um, I think they were about 10 12 grams or the blades are definitely heavier but for some simple basic flying you'll get everything you really need out of them and check them out on Thingiverse and Printables I'll post those there and as well as the landing skids so and if you need anything resin printed because I actually didn't have anything resin printed check out PCBWay. I'll leave a referral link down below and uh, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.